Hey, what's up creatures? It's Em and I'm back today with a very, very special announcement and that is that we have finally decided to add a new member to our family. If you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button down below, become part of the Creature Crew and also hit that notification bell down in the corner there so you don't miss a single upload. If you guys have been here for a while, you'll be very familiar with our girl Pudding. She is a true rescue skunk. She came to us when someone could no longer look after her and didn't have a home. She's so loved, she is so, so spoiled. She genuinely loves cuddles. The more you smush her, the more she just relaxes down into cuddles. And every evening, she loves to come and find us. She is a very sweet skunk and <laughs> she's sleepy. Are you sleepy, darling? I thought it would be nice for her to be able to have a companion at home. Um, skunks are not exactly social with each other, they don't require to have any other companionship, but I thought it might be nice for her in the long run. I'm sure a lot of you will already know that Danny and I work as animal educators, and given that Pudding goes out one or two times a week, we wanted to have a backup skunk in the event that maybe Pudding was ill, or to be able to have another skunk to take out with us so that Pudding can have a rest, and the goal is to get her down to working maybe only like one a week. For a few weeks now we've been trialing two different baby skunks to potentially be matches for our big female skunk pudding. Unfortunately the first one didn't work out. She was a rescue skunk so it would have been free for us to have her but she was not compatible with pudding. She was um, very, very high energy, as all baby animals are, very high energy, but a very nervous energy, the kind of energy where she was having a negative impact on the way that we were able to have a relationship with pudding, who's usually super steady. And when we gave back this little female, we spotted another little boy. This boy who I'm going to show you today is not a rescue. He is a purchase. It's not very easy to find rescued skunks in our state. Um, but this guy was for sale. He was bred by a captive breeder, so he was not taken from the wild. And he was just, from the moment I saw him, a much better fit for pudding. He has a much lower energy. We have come up with a name. Thank you all so much for your name suggestions. Questions. I know you guys all wanted this one name that you are all commenting. Spoon. 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 Spork. I took that into consideration and I will use it in part. Okay, but overall we're gonna go with the name Moosh because I'm a huge Queen fan and I was listening to Bohemian Rhapsody and you know they have that part like Scaramouche where you do the Fandango. So I thought I'd call him Moosh, short for Scaramouche, but now he's just Moosh, but he's also Moosh Spoon. So Moosh Spoon is gonna be his official name. So let's bring out our new baby boy. This is really, really exciting. This is Moosh. Hi YouTube, look at my handsomeness. I'm so cute and I'm very naughty. His feet are a bit dirty because he's just been running around. But look at him. Isn't that just like the most adorable handsomeness you've ever seen in your entire life? He's like, do not touch my handsome face. A lot of people were very confused when they saw him for the first time on Instagram and they thought that maybe skunks when they're younger start off this colour and then develop that black colour. That's not true. He is always going to be this colour. He is a lavender skunk. I'm just gonna put you up on my shoulder. There you go. Ah, uh, This is a lot of trust because your teeth can do a lot of damage. <laughs> I have to say, I'm a very, very good skunk cuddler. It's definitely a skill of mine. And speaking of skills, today's video is very, very graciously sponsored by Skillshare. <laughs> Skillshare is an online learning community where you can take classes in almost anything, whether it's photography or business or anything to do with tech. If you want to improve on your Instagram photography skills, Skillshare is the place to go. I've personally been enjoying the creative writing class to help me with some of my upcoming videos and also the iPhone photography courses to help me level up my Instagram game. Skillshare is offering the first 500 Creature Crew members who sign up two months of completely free access to all of their courses. Premium membership gives you access to unlimited classes from top professionals in their field, so I would highly recommend it if there is a skill that you want to perfect. Annual subscription is less than $10 a month, which is super affordable to have unlimited access to as many different skills and as many different classes as you want. 
which is good because that means that when you're stuck at home wanting to learn something but you have a needy skunk who needs a lot of cuddles you can still have a life and cuddle skunks for more information about this amazing offer by Skillshare, check out my description box below. This is a really good thing he's doing right now. Moosh is so relaxed. This is a great sign of trust because an animal, when it doesn't trust you, is not going to fall asleep on you. But he is almost completely out. He's very, very sleepy. In part as well because it is the daytime. And of course, being a nocturnal animal, Moosh would rather be asleep. So I'm compromising with him. He can sleep in my arms. There we go. Is your heart melting? Leave a comment down below if Moosh has melted your heart and turned your heart into a little pile of mush. Moosh Spoon has been very sweet settling in. He loves food. He just eats everything always even food that i didn't know was on the floor hidden like he found half a waffle the other day i didn't even know we had half a waffle under the couch but there you go he found half a waffle and, and ate it so he's been eating everything and baby skunks will just house absolutely everything they find on the floor so we had to make sure there was nothing on the floor that he wasn't supposed to eat somehow the little half waffle evaded me but yeah he enjoyed that and he's been eating the food that i've been leaving out for him like a trooper like a champ so um, it's really important with skunks to get them onto a good diet really quickly because just like ferrets they will actually imprint on their food by about 12 weeks of age and then they get a little bit more tricky to introduce to new foods so if you can get them on a really good diet initially that's fantastic so I got him on his vegetables he has his calcium he has egg he has cottage cheese for dairy I know that that sounds kind of weird to feed a skunk dairy but it's so high in calcium it is great for them um, any other skunk owners out there back me up I'm not just trying to feed the skunk stuff that I think he would like it's actually good for him um, and he's actually a better eater than pudding now pudding's just like I guess he's gonna have all the food <laughs> so I think that has affected pudding a little bit she's not eating as much as she used to um, the baby skunk Moosh doesn't push her off the food she just kind of smells him and goes he's touched it I don't want it anymore Skunks are high maintenance and expensive to keep, so I don't recommend them as a pet, but if you're certain that a skunk is right for you, then check your local laws before purchasing or adopting a skunk. Here in New Jersey, all skunks must be licensed by the state, neutered and descented, which takes away their ability to produce their famous foul smell. However, in the UK, it's illegal to have your pet skunk descented. How do you feel about the debate surrounding the descenting of skunks? Do you think it's no big deal because it's straightforward as a procedure? Or do you think it's cruel? Leave a comment down below. On the first night, what we did is we put him in a crate. And um, I kept him in the crate just in case there was any scuffling. So I wanted to give Pudding the chance to get to know his scent in the house. Um, on the first night she was not happy at all. She would stamp and scream and basically yell in his face then run away. <laughs> So guys, what's going on here is that Pudding was sleeping in her travel crate and then Moosh came in and uh, pushed her out of the crate because he wants to hang out with her. It sounds worse than it is. But she was, you know, other than that, fine, still coming up to us looking for attention and hugs, so that's a good thing. And then I started giving them a bit more interaction time together, so inviting the new skunk out to play. And as of where we are today, I'm not gonna lie, Pudding still does not particularly like having him around, but nor does she absolutely hate him. What you got there, Danny? Stuff. What kind of stuff? Good stuff, really good stuff. <laughs> I really cannot fault how sweet he is in temperament. Um, he's very skittish on the floor, so if he detects someone walking towards him, um, he doesn't like that. He's not too familiar with what people are because he always lived with a litter of skunks before and had limited interaction with humans. Um, so he's getting used to 
people walking around him and the noises and the uh, electrical things we have in the house like the blender um, but apart from that he is very sweet and it's very important given what his future purpose is um, that he's good at being handled for fairly long periods of time. This here is a touch exercise and with Moosh what this means is that I'm getting him used to having his mouth and his feet and his body touched. This is really important and really useful because if we have to go to the vet for any medication or checkups then this desensitizes him in these areas to touch and it's also instilling a sense of trust whenever he's touched by a person. The hand beans, finger beans, finger beans are good, toe beans are good. He's Very good. <laughs> Very round belly we've got going he's, on today. Oh, my little tickle is on my belly. He's so well mannered. He's great. Yeah, he really is. He needs he's to have so a little good. bath when he's a bit more familiar he with does, us. He does, but in the meantime, he is spectacular about being touched literally everywhere. Pudding and Moosh are very sweet, but never approach, take, or touch a wild skunk. They are not cuddly and they are a rabies vector species, so it's best to admire them from a distance or call a professional wildlife rehabber if you spot an injured skunk. Let's have a look at some of the other things that Moosh has been getting up to in a typical day. together now. Pudding! Oh, mush! A hundred out of ten. They will get into anything and everything they can. They are very mischievous. And that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Moosh, the little lavender skunk. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try and answer them all. <sighs> so unprofessional. I just swallowed one of his hairs. I'm choking. <coughs> Thank you guys all so much for watching. We will see you in another video soon. Mwah. Bye!